Good morning, Virgo friends. Welcome. Doing your heart spread for October here in uh, Playa del Carmen, Mexico on the um, Caribbean. I might get a little view of it there, uh, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> a beautiful morning. We're going to stay quiet a minute before uh, anything crazy happens. If you hear dogs barking, there's no, no trouble. Um, just, you know, as people walk by, they bark from, uh, from their house, and that's their job, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sometimes people worry, oh my God, there's a dog in distress. No. Actually, it's not that bad here, you know, in Belize, uh, just kind of grim, you know, so one of the things about being overseas sometimes, it's, uh, the way they treat animals can be really different from the States. And, but uh, to our credit as expats, you know, a lot of... Uh, People have started um, SPCAs and support programs of all kinds. So here it's not, it's not that bad. I haven't seen any tragedies, thank God. So Virgo, let's see. Um, doing this for October, but right now <clears throat> Mercury retrograde is starting. It's going to be a theme through a lot of the month, and um, then at the same time you've got planets starting to. Go direct, notably Saturn. That's huge, especially for you guys in Virgos, Earth signs. Um, I think uh, energy is going to shift in general, It'll be a lot easier uh, for people. But uh, right now, with this Mercury retrograde in Libra it depends on where it is in your chart, but it's definitely all about relationships. Uh, uh, tenth of uh, Mars, if you're not watching the Soul Family read, that you should give it a try. It's uh, in the description there, will be links, or you look at my page. It's up um, for today as well, uh, and Wednesdays are always uh, Leo Virgo Day, I should add. Um, but on the tenth of, it's going to be uh, Mercury's going to conjunct with uh, Mars, and uh, the Sun's going to be right there too that day, like within a degree. So, in terms of the mind and relationships, I'm really looking for this one to be really positive. And really give us, but but be significant. Like forget the electronics and everything, and the X's, and just like in our own minds, we're gonna uh, make some kind of uh, connection that's uh, important and meaningful for us. Maybe in a big picture way, uh, in terms of love and relationships with people, loved ones, whatever. So, <clears throat> see what we got. Wow, you coming in with the hair font. Uh, I'm thinking for uh, people likely watching this with the hair font here, um, this is a Virgo, it's like really standing in your power, um, spiritually, uh, even religiously, um, feeling uh, very confident, but this is confidence at a very deep level. Uh, it's not the confidence that comes with the accomplishment, the that is not the, comes with the material wealth or security. Um, it's something of the confidence that comes with uh, wisdom and emotional uh, security and maybe self-mastery. Um, so also this could be speaking to uh, marriage, someone with marriage on their mind. You know, this is your energy in and around relationships, Virgo too. It comes to mind, you know, it's very pure. Look at the light, you know, Virgo is very pure. It's an element of it, you know. I think purification, purification is probably important for Virgos. Like, I would even go even not, uh, enemas, anything that purifies the body. Because, uh, but this is someone that's kind of pure. Um, even karmically, you know, this is someone that's also, they're not carrying a lot of baggage. You know, but being very solid in yourself, like um, you're not gonna, no one's gonna come up to you and randomly speak to you for five minutes and significantly change your mind about anything really important, right? What's important? What's your value? Uh, why am I here? What's my purpose? What's the meaning in life? You've got that, you know? Now your person's coming at extraordinarily different energy. Virgo, um, and I'm not, they may be involved with more than one person, um, but they have a lot of activity in their life too, you know, this is waiting for the ships to come in classically, um, 
but I try to place this too, both your card here and this one, a little bit outside of this relationship with whoever you're thinking of. So I want a baseline of kind of where you're at as individuals. And I think this person is in the, they're looking for someone. They're looking for love. I mean, the Hierophant's not looking for love. So I wouldn't, you know, you like literally wouldn't see you on a dating site. But this person might well be on a dating site or have been on a dating site, but they're in that energy of looking. Um, I would get the sense that they would be less uh, less substantial than you in many ways, less wisdom even go there, uh, less emotionally balanced and whole, uh, all of it, um, in that they, if this is going to be a relationship, that they would come to you as uh, some sense, maybe every sense, you know, physically, emotionally, spiritually, the wheel of fortune, holy moly, the hair of fortune, the wheel of fortune. I, it just, just kind of blew my mind as I was kind of thinking about what this means. This person's like a gift to you. It's, um, the wheel of fortune, you know, that Jupiter energy? It'll be going direct to before too long, thank God. And between it and Saturn, by the time November's over, we'll be cranking here, guys, relatively. But this is the energy of, um, like, being bestowed a karmic blessing. Because this is the wheel usually turns in your favor. So I reason it. And it's something that comes out of left field. It's uh, something karmic, something one way or another, since it's usually good. But now you add the Hierophant to it. Um, it could even be like a religious blessing, you know. Uh, something about this person, you know, that's coming in here. Um, it's as if, you know, you would, you would, if this is your reading, you'd have to feel this. You'd have to be feeling like I've been blessed. I've been, or you are a blessing to me. Something like that. Holy moly. Well, there's any doubts how they feel about you, Virgo. <laughs> this is the building of a long-term committed relationship or a marriage. This is the energy, ones or actions. This is how they're feeling towards you. Look at the progression here, guys. They go from the three of wands. Okay, this point to understand. Uh, the three of wands, it's all over the place. Gemini, you know, um, not grounded. A lot of fire, looking, desiring, you know. The Four of Wands is now I see what I want. And now those all of that energy gets grounded and driven into the relationship. That's no other way to read that one. That's not even hard. Do take into account the bottom of the deck. Just notice we have the Two of Swords. So some uncertainty here somewhere uh, as an underlying energy. I get the feeling like one or the other saying, uh, Virgo, you know, why am I having this uncertainty? Can't even, because this is often like, I just don't know, I just don't know. Five of Pentacles. Now this is your advice from spirit, Virgo, towards the other person, and this is like the poverty card. This is the lack mentality. This is the card of I'm not good enough. It can be literal poverty. Um, but the position of this card is important because it is the advice that Spirit's giving you towards your other person. So you have to think about how to interpret that. The Spirit's not going to tell you to be impoverished. Spirit's not going to tell you to have a lack mentality. I don't think that you do use a hair font. Okay? They might, you know, very well could. Um, they're coming in with the three of wands. It uh, could be weak. In that way, why are they searching so hard? Because they're not whole in themselves, you know. They don't feel they're complete. Now, what's the advice here? Their advice for you? Wow. Okay, not only to move to you, towards you, and maybe literally, uh, but they want—they're moving their whole, their entire self towards you. Their emotions, their spirituality. Not just religion here. It's like your, your energy that you put off about life, you know. Um, they're drawn to you with this, drawn to you. And they feel like, and this is spirit telling them, 
um, why they feel to you the four of wands. They want a long-term committed relationship or marriage. And spirit is telling them, this is your this is a, your life's purpose. This is a soulmate connection. Absolutely. You're cross-watching. Let there be no doubt. If you're a Virgo, let there be no doubt. Whatever went on in the past, and it might have been some weirdness, um, they're all about you now. And I am reassured by this more than anything because it's not about their feelings about you, which feelings come and go. This is spirit telling them, align with your higher self, your person, cross watcher, in terms of this Virgo, align with them and find your higher self, raise yourself to a higher level. And for them, um, it's basically saying, recognize that this is a victory for you. For you, Virgo, it's saying kind of recognize that this is a gift, you know. And I think as advice for you, for them, uh, it's you're the Hierophant now. It's uh, So it might be difficult for you to remember what it's like to not love yourself. Uh, to not have lack mentality, to not constantly feel like I'm not good enough, I don't have enough, I never will, I never will have enough, I never will be good enough. And because when you're like this, that, that energy goes away, that's how it's supposed to work, you know? And so maybe it's hard, maybe Spirit's kind of saying, you know, humble yourself a little and to where you can kind of appreciate where they're at. But I mean, they're like, it's like uh, they're down here, but they're like coming up fast. They're all about meeting you where you're at. Reassurance for me, this one. <laughs> Google the chariot card, read a couple different descriptions. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't hurt. It just comes to mind. Four cups. This is a uh, advice from spirit and relationship as a whole for both of you. Um, clarify that spirit thank you any little help um, excuse my allergies sort of got paradise I can't breathe I got a lot of similar colors here um, I don't think the four uh, cups is a bad uh, energy and you know uh, spirits not asking us to be apathetic and not care and uh, also you know they're ignoring a cup uh, coming basically from the hand of God here. Excuse me. Oh, he's a, just literally killing me. Um, so uh, when you add the Empress into it, um, <clears throat> there's some element like emotionally, as somebody's being too emotional, and most likely you're person because they're coming with the Cancer energy with the Chariot. 